Working on a place to go. Pounds and feet, try not to stub his toe. Hey, hey, oh, oh. It's five o'clock in the morning, the sun's just come up, and this is Caulfield's quarry where they used to mine or quarry this stone, which is recognizable in a lot of the walls in the area. And that kind of peak over there used to be a hillside and they've just sliced it in half. Unfortunately, Hadrian's wall should have continued across that peak and they sliced it away back in the day when they had this here. It's now a nice little lake. So I'm just making my way up now to Hadrian's Wall. I'm about seven miles to the west of um, the Housesteads Fort that was at yesterday. Um, I had a very uncomfortable night sleeping in the car. I'm not going to do that again. I think camping might be something I would enjoy. But that, last night, whew, very uncomfortable. But, although I'm slightly tired, I'm looking forward to this. Quite a pretty start to the walk, that's for sure. And there is Hadrian's wall and a sheep. I say it's still very early, the cows are lying down. You can see that huge, sheer, almost cliff edge, I guess, now that has been. blasted into the side of the hill. I'm going to take it very easy because I'm not using a stick today because I've realised I don't need to. The sheep are very lively. They're not usually as lively as that but Maybe that's a feature of early mornings for sheep. The Great Wall. Now, look at that. Built into a steep hillside. And again, you can see the rough, how the stones in the middle were just pretty much thrown in. Where it's much tidier here, here on the outside edge. And I would say it's a good six feet thick. If I just look back, you can see it's sort of disappearing off up the hill there. And that is the uh, cut-off piece that goes up the hill there and then turns that direction. And that's where the mountainside sliced away. So there you can see the, the wall is going up the edge of that little hill there and you can see the cutout. That is the quarry. And this here in the foreground, this is a, what's called a mile castle. It's, I guess it is kind of a castle. But these are dotted every, what's known as a Roman mile, which is 1.48 kilometers. And they're not technically every mile because sometimes they put them sooner 
or later, depending on the lie of the land, they might have thought, well, this isn't quite a mile, but that hillside is actually a better vantage point. And these mile castles were designed so soldiers from Britannia, which is south, could come through the centre, get past the wall, and go and patrol to the north, where all the, the Scot, the Scots and the Celts and the barbarians lived. Dangerous land. Look, look how wide this wall is here. I mean, it's actually wider than Hadrian's Wall, but they really were serious about what they wanted to achieve, which is basically dominate everybody. There's a little turnstile here guided me on my way as we walk again into the sun along Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> the views are amazing. I mean, I never think they transpose well on, onto video, but we're very, very high up which I think was part of the reason the wall was built where it was. There's a natural, it's like, hillside, which, you know, they're using the landscape to their benefit. They weren't stupid, these Romans. They knew what they were doing. I've not, I've not gone very far really, so far. I keep stopping when I see sheep because they're a bit unpredictable at the moment with it being lambing and the ones with the horns look at me in a fierce looking way. Uh, but this stretch of the wall here dips down into a, like a ravine and dips back up. So you can imagine when the guys were building the wall, they must have looked at this and went, oh my God. Do we have to, can we not just, <laughs> oh. Look it curves. It's not straight, folks. It goes up there, and there's some. Oh, look, they've kindly put steps for us. All right, well, let's do these steps. It's actually quite steep for little old me. Oh, look at this. What a difference to when I did the, the Falling Foss Falls, where I had a stick and I was unable to put any weight really on my right knee. Now, it's so much stronger. Oh, don't look down. Rather uncomfortable wind. Wow, this is a bit of a climb. Okay. It's actually the next step is kind of chest height because of the wind it's a little bit what's that saying about my knee oh wow but you know all the best journeys have hurdles Oh, that's not the word. Oh, I've done it. I'm not gonna look back. But when I come back this way, oh my God, I'll probably come back a different way. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's rather daunting, that bit. I can literally see for miles in every direction. And <laughs> I guess people do this whole distance, but that is like undulating mountains as far as I can see. So I think this is a good place for me, having 
not slept well at all to turn around. I've done two miles and so I've not filmed much of it because the sun is, I couldn't film the direction I was walking because of where the sun is. It's so early, the sun's so low. So I'm going to film the way back and show you more of the wall uh, because there's not really any chance of completing it being it being the fact that the wall goes from one coast coast to coast across the UK but uh, I'll tell you it's just blowing me away especially because I've got the whole wall to myself this morning it's so early I was up at four in the car park haven't had any coffee yet so I'm going to turn around here and uh, show you the way back look how long my shadow is you can see from the length of my shadow that tells you how low the sun is on the horizon because it's super early uh, but you get a good chance to see the wall from here and the view beyond it where if I was filming whereas if I was filming in the other direction it would be very silhouetted but uh, what a magnificent structure I mean this has survived wars and less uh, generations of people less concerned about their heritage and the and the fact that it, it was here I don't actually think Romans being in Britain is something British people are particularly proud of I don't think we look back at that on that too fondly because it was an invasion it was an occupancy they took the country but oddly contributed to the culture of being British at the same time certainly in terms of language and uh, presumably architecture and such language This is a very good illustration here of how of the sheer drop on the other side of the of the wall it's pretty high I'm not sure if that was always like that or that if that's been quarried away but I imagine a lot of this is, you know, the wall would have come from that rock, presumably. So in a way, maybe they made it. There's a little view coming over here. We walk into the wind. And there's a little hair. There's a hair there, if you can see. Oh. <laughs> It's, it pointed its ears at me, listened, and then pelted off in the other direction. That's the first time I've seen a hare on my walks. And here we are, look, look at it, undulating. It's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. It's six foot wide. It was much higher than this, obviously it was like, I don't know how it was, but higher than a person. It was probably uh, had parapets. Right, well, I got to the section where those steps were 
and I looked at them and I thought right I'm gonna go head over heels here if one trip I'm a goner so I bottled it and I I, and I, I walked around so, <laughs> so I'm now <laughs> edging very carefully protecting those ankles as I come around the edge I'm gonna go back up and rejoin the wall although I did think why don't I just walk along there that could be interesting no, that's good. Uh, I can't decide now no I'll stick with the wall it's Hedron's wall what are you thinking get back to the wall so just to explain the steps are built into this craggy part here so I've walked around this edge and then round over here and now I'm going to go back up to the gate but there seems to be kind of like nice little steps here for me so I'll do that and rejoin the wall I totally bottled it on those stairs I feel terrible right there's the slope that I've just come up and here are the steps I tried to avoid successfully have avoided and they're not so bad at the bottom here but at the very top they're very steep so I'll continue up the wall now it's interesting like as it comes down this hill they they're going down at an angle which I'm quite surprised about and then as they get down here they're flat again they're level and then as it does this massive steep climb obviously you can't you can't angle them that way so they've kept them level I'm not sure how they would have tackled that but if you think about it it makes sense why the uh, wall is so thick because it probably indicates that it was quite high I just that just occurred to me by the way interesting little bit here as well where the stones butting out from the wall I don't know if that's happened over time or if that was part of the design intriguing isn't it oh look so it looks like a natural end happened here Lumbly a little Inspector Cluso here so it looks like they stopped here and had to have a bit of a think what do we do with this area of impossible British land <laughs> I do believe I've just represented Romans in a French accent there'll be complaints I know what I was thinking of I was thinking of that Monty Python sketch where you've got John Cleese on the battlements <laughs> I won't uh, I won't quote it <clears throat> You wonder what the Romans must have thought when they came here initially. Uh, what is this place? But then, you know, they were here for 800 years, so it would have been like, as far as they're concerned, Rome. This was Rome to them. This is Roman, Roman Empire. So this was theirs. So it wasn't a matter of, there was no, there would have been no concept of we're visitors here their thinking would be this is ours this is our amazing wonderful countryside that we own 800 years that's a long time in the distance there I can see the farmer on his in his uh, quad bike going to the cows It looks like he's just checking on them. I mean, America, how old is America? It's got to be what, 250, 280 years? I'm not talking about Native American Indian time, which goes right back. To the year dot. I'm thinking about 
when the settlers arrived there. 250 years. Let's say 300, even though it's not. 800 years the Romans were here. I hadn't thought about that before. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big, big deal. But where they weren't was over there, Scotland. Untouched by the Roman hand. Now it occurs to me, I'm at here at Hadrian's Wall. Uh, I'm mentioning this guy Hadrian all the time, but I've not told you who he is or, or what he is. Well, he was the Roman emperor from uh, 117 AD to, and I've got it written down here, 138 AD. And he was uh, one of the five good emperors, uh, so to speak. He, he didn't really, in his reign, have any battles or, or uh, wars. Uh, he was very much involved with the military. He often stayed with the soldiers. He visited every um, corner of his empire, so he would have been here. And uh, he used to create fake invasions. He used to say, oh, there's an invasion. Get ready, everyone. And just use that as training so that people didn't get too, too uh, untrained, too complacent. So life as a soldier during Hadrian's reign would have been pretty benign, it sounds like. Apart from these guys over here, perhaps. The odd skirmish. And the other question that begs an answer is, where, where, why, why did they leave? Well, they left, uh, I think it's around about 407 AD um, when the Roman Empire was falling apart and um, they went back. Everyone went back to Rome to, to try and fight and keep it going. So and they pretty much left a note to say bye bye, you're on your own. <laughs> and off they went. Um, and I bet that, was, that might have been a sad day for people here because they've been here so long it's kind of like well bye bye there have been interrelationships and all sorts going on anyway i am back at my starting point of the wall i'm back at the um mile castle uh that's where i'm sitting right now and uh it's time to say goodbye i thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, the trip along Hadrian's Wall and the um, Housestead Port. Um, until next time, goodbye. Traveling through the world, working on a place to go.